the Friday song. That's music to my ears. I mean, literally, it's music hitting me in the ears. Because it's Friday. Friday, you got to get down on Friday. Everybody's looking forward to the weekend party and party. And yeah, party and party. Yeah, fun, 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 fun. Looking forward to the weekend. You know what's going to be better than looking forward to the weekend? Doing today's bell ringer. Let's go. Mr. Kovacs class. It's Mr. Kovacs class. You might learn on tour. It's Mr. Kovacs class. He's interested too. It's Mr. Kovacs class. And he's super cool. It's Mr. Kovacs class. So we've been doing the Beaks of Finch's lab and at the same time talking about taxonomy and classification and the different levels of classification from the most general, the domain and the kingdom, to the most specific, the genus species, right? Domain, kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, and species, right? And as you move through, as you move down, you have fewer and fewer organisms that fit, right? But what about our kind of thing? Where do we fit? That's the question we're going to answer. Let's start with the D, domain. There are three domains. There's the, archae the bacteria, the true bacteria. There's the archaea. And then there's this eukarya, the ones with nucleated cells. Which one are, which one are we in? Correct, we're eukaryotic organisms. And that's our domain. In the do that domain with us are all the protists, all the fungi, all the plants, and all the other animals. Let's go to our next level of classification. All of the eukaryotic organisms, we are in a kingdom, kingdom of animals, kingdom animalia. These are the eukaryotic, right? So the eukaryotic domain, um, and they're consumers, right? Heterotroph consumers. And uh, that makes us different from the plants, which are autotrophs, and different from the funguses, who are also heterotrophs, but funguses are need to be born in their food source versus animals need to either move or manipulate their environment to get their food to come to them or get to go to their food. All right, so we are in the kingdom of animals. Domain eukarya, kingdom animalia. All the animals, we're in a group that has backbones, the chordates, okay? Really like a spinal cord makes you a chordate and there's a bunch of different classes of chordates. We're talking like all the fishes, all the amphibians, all the reptiles, all the birds, they're all chordates, they have backbones, okay? But of all the chordates, we're in the class of mammals. 5,000 species of mammals, and we're just one of them, but class of mammals, the key is mammal. You may remember that means from the breast, that's nursing, the ability to nurse young with milk. Mammals also usually give live birth, although there are a few that lay eggs. Uh, what else? Mammals have, can't maintain a constant body temperature, yeah, but so do birds, um, right? Mammals are furry, but some are furrier than others. The key is that nursing thing, right? And there are lots of different kinds of mammals. And by now, you know, we're in that group of mammals that can do this. What do we call that group? Right, that's the order primates, primates, right? Primates, these are all our primate brethren. That's our um, order, it's called the order of primates. And uh, that includes the lemurs, lorises, tarsiers, the monkeys, and of course the great apes, which of course we are categorized as one of the great apes. Okay, so of all the primates that can do this, right, and also have nails instead of claws, we are subdivided into the family of hominids, the apes. Right? Animals that are chordates that are mammals that are primates, hominids, and what separates hominids from the other primates, of course, is not only their size, but this, the lack, the general lack of tail, okay? The lack of tail, and they're usually bigger. So the great apes, and of that hominid family that they're, we're in, okay, there are four genuses. There's the homos, which we know, the pans, the pongos, and the gorillas. And in each of those genuses, there's subspecies. We know that there's only one species of gorilla, gorilla, gorilla. There are two pongos, right? The pygmaeus and albeli, 
Those are the two types of orangutans. There's, in the genus Pan, you have Pan paniscus, known as the bonobo, and Pan troglodytes, which is known as the um, chimpanzee. And then, of course, genus Homo, we're the only homos left. Homo sapiens. Sure family members, right? For genetic family. We're in the same genetic family as all of the other hominids. The hominids. Well, that makes our kind of thing. We have an official genetic address. Okay, this is where we rank. This is where we sit in the world of organisms. We are eukaryotic, animal, chordate, mammals, primates, hominid, homos, and we're in the species of sapien. Homo sapien is our scientific name. That's where we fit. Domain, kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, species. Our closest genetic relatives are in the genus of Pan. Those includes the troglodytes and the paniscus, the bonobos and the chimps. They're our closest genetic relatives. It's like we both live in a hominid street and we live right next to each other. That's how closely related we are. Um, but if you think of a genus being a house, we're the only ones in this house because we're the only species. We before there were other homos, but they've all gone extinct, right? Habilis, right? So if you think about genetic, these guys would have been really closely related to us. I mean, so close that probably, probably if a Neanderthal, homo Neanderthalus were to walk into your classroom, you may not even notice that it's a different kind of thing, really closely related, right? But what makes them a species? Good, you remember, it has to do with breed. So that's classification of our kind of thing. Domain, kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, and the species. It's just a way of organizing the world. It's arbitrary. People made it up. No other organisms classify things like this, but it's, it's a way to try to paint a picture of life on Earth based on evolutionary relationships. All right? Good, let's do our Friday class.